So think of a breakup as a love removing the person that you're not supposed to spend your life with. Okay, think of it as Allah removing the person that you're not supposed to be with and Allah wants to make room for the person who's supposed to spend the rest of your life with. My brothers and sisters, this is what happens. You're in a haram relationship and you end up breaking up. More than likely, the person found someone else and they wanted to be with them, hence they broke up with you. But guess what? The grass ain't as green as they thought it would be on the other side. So they come back between their tail and their legs and they tell you all this sweet stuff that I was wrong and this was wrong and all that just to get you back. And this is a test from Allah to see, are you going to learn to finally value yourself? Because you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes certain people from your life because they weren't good for you. You weren't able to get rid of them and you know that you were in something haram. You shouldn't be doing it in the first place. So what happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes them in the form of a heartbreak or a breakup or whatever it might be. Totally out of your control because you couldn't pull the trigger. Now guess what happens? You realize that what you were doing was wrong and now this person wants to come back in your life and Allah wants to test you to see are you going to learn from your previous haram relationship. You've turned your life around. You're praying five times a day. You're trying to get closer to Allah and boom, you get the I miss you texts. Wallahi, shaitan might be locked up in Ramadan, but there's other jinn and shayateen, tiny ones around to cause mischief in the land. So don't think for a second that this isn't a test from Allah. Allah wants to see, have you learned your lesson? Are you really going to turn back to him? And now that he got you out of a haram situation, are you going to put yourself back in that same haram? Look, whoever is no longer good for you and is toxic for you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find a way to remove them because they're not good for you. Now, some of you might be asking, SQ, but you know, what if I love them and I want them to come back? If a person could leave you high and dry and leave you and treat you one way once, they can do that to you again. The real question is, when will you learn to value yourself? When will you develop some self-respect and learn to draw those emotional boundaries? So think of a breakup as a love removing the person that you're not supposed to spend your life with. Okay, think of it as Allah removing the person that you're not supposed to be with and Allah wants to make room for the person who's supposed to spend the rest of your life with.